Hello friends, welcome back to another video. We are gonna be doing some fun press on things today. So my lovely sister got me these for Christmas, but obviously they are pretty springy. So I've been waiting to use them and I thought that they would be really cute to wear to our Easter dinner. So I'm gonna put these on. The only problem is that my birthday is in like a week and I have actually a different set of press on nails that I want to wear. So we're gonna try something different today. I did see on a YouTube video and kind of in my mind this will work. So we're hoping that it works, but we shall see. These I had cut out of the box. They're usually in a box like this and all cute. These are my, oh no. These are my birthday nails, sneak peek, but usually they're in a box. I just cut them out because how I store them, they fit better this way. But the special thing we're gonna attempt is to use a peel off base coat underneath the glue. So I absolutely love the press ons. I think it's fun to have a different nail shape and all those things, but I despise taking off the press-ons with the like soaking. So, and since I wanna wear another set here in like not that long, I thought I would try to do a gel peel off base and then see how that works. So I did watch a YouTube video. I will link it down below. It was really quick and simple and to the point. So yes, that is what we're gonna do. I also have a new, Oh, a new Amazon find to try. I've had this on my list for months and um, Jess from Jess Face 90 spoke about it and it kind of just like reminded me to grab it. But basically it's a glass cuticle like file pusher thing. And it's supposed to be a little bit more gentle, similar to a glass file. And it just kind of helps you get all the, all the gook off. So I figured I'll try this. I literally just got it in the mail like a couple days ago. But I'm gonna prep my nails a little bit. I'm not gonna prep them too much because normally with press-ons, you would like take a buffer block and kind of, uh, I think they call it etching. You would like etch your nail and then etch the inside of the uh, press-ons. But since I'm using a peel off base coat, I don't really want to do that because I kind of want the nail to stick a little bit better to obviously the base coat and peel off that way. So we are not going to buff the nails. And again, I'm only probably going to have these on for maybe three or four days, if that. So really not going to have them on for very long and I don't really want to spend all that time to soak it off so yes my birthday nails will have on a little bit longer I'm sorry if you can hear car things there's lots of them happening someone's working on their speaker <sighs> someone's driving their fancy sports car really annoyingly but I I'm so excited to wear these because I've had them again since Christmas and I just have not worn them yet. So I thought that it would be fun and cute. And ideally this would make prep a little bit easier because I'm just gonna clean off like my nail plate and put that base coat on and then throw these on. So yes, we shall see. Press ones take three seconds to put on so I love that. Um, I can't imagine this video being very long, but uh, I just wanted to show you this process in case it is interesting for anyone or if you've been wanting to try press-ons but you're not sure if you have a peel-off gel base coat, then it should be fine. I don't know how this would work with a regular peel-off, like uh, like a UNT peel off or something. A lot of people use that one, but I just think that the gel is gonna make it easier to come off because it will be cured. So it'll be hard and like pop off. Sometimes I feel like the uh, like latex and the UNT peel off can be a little softer. And I don't think that the glue would take to that as well, but I could be completely wrong. I've never done this before. 
for the past few Fridays, we have been doing, um, well, I guess every two weeks when I go to the grocery store, I've been getting stuff to make bacon grilled cheese because the we use ciabatta bread and it goes bad. So I'm waiting, literally just waiting for the timer on the bacon to go off so I can do this before I put my nails on. But yeah, aren't these so cute? I just love them. I think they're adorable and it's again, again, and it's again a different nail shape for me so it'll be fun to wear for a couple days. The press-ons that my both my sister and I get are from Sunbloom Nails. I have I think I'm on my fifth set now. I've got spring, two spring. This is my fourth, so this is my fourth set. I think my sister has two or three, and we really like them. The quality is really nice. So, yes. Very excited to put these on, and very excited to wear my birthday ones as well. Cannot wait. So I'm gonna clean my nail plate again just to make sure that it's looking lovely. And I haven't done very many press on nail videos, but if you have seen any of them, I do, or I guess kind of like my gel, I do four fingers, these four fingers, and then my thumbs last. It's just significantly easier that way. I am hoping that I don't have to change my nail shape for some of these because I am not changing my, not filing anything, so hopefully they're okay. But I will go ahead and put this peel off on these first four fingers. I'll probably do the peel off on all my fingers just so I don't have to deal with that, with like the press-ons on. This is gonna be so crazy to have like super long nails in under 10 minutes. I'm gonna try to get this like really close to the edge of my nails and really even because I would like to protect them. Not that the um not that the press-ons are bad for your nails, just to make the peel off part of it a little bit smoother and easier. Just want to make sure that this is all over my nail. I just have this random nail glue. I honestly can't remember if this came with press-ons. When you order from Allison, you can get like a little kit. She will put that in there uh, to purchase if you have if you don't have the stuff that she's like selling already, basically. But I already have a bunch of nail glue from different press-on kits I've ordered on Amazon and all of those things. So, yes. The one thing that she did do in the video was take off this like tacky layer because the base coat is supposed to be tacky to hold on to the gel polish but I don't want it to be tacky so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that sticky layer just so that the glue has something to stick to so now it's a little bit more matte than it is that like shiny sticky which is hopefully what we want I have no idea we'll see I guess the good thing about this is that either way, we can soak these off at some point. It's not going to be the end of the world for removal. I am just trying to make it a little bit easier, but oh, we'll see. I'm nervous. This would also be nice to know for vacation because I don't particularly want to wear press-ons the whole, like our whole vacation. We have a vacation coming up, if you didn't know. I don't particularly want to wear press-ons the whole vacation, but it would be nice if I could like start with them and then do a peel off. That could be fun. Let's make sure that this is still coming out. Yep, I see it, okay. Thumb. Should I scratch these? Because I mean, these should hold the glue, right? No, uh, okay. I feel so nervous when I have to like do it. Whatever it is, it makes me nervous.
Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe just one quick little swipe on everything. Make sure there's no dust or anything. I have no idea if this is right. Okay. <laughs> Glue. Oh, scary. Little tiny, not a little tiny bit, but like a little bit on the nail. And then I do, or a little, well, I guess that is the nail. I do a little bit on the press on, and then I do more on my actual nail. And then I place it. And before I push it down all the way, I try to make sure it's straight. And then I push. I push down like, not hard, but firm, I guess is the word. Give it a roll, check that glue, and hope that it's okay, hope that it's straight. Looks pretty straight. <laughs> This is a longer style than um, the a couple of the other ones I have. I guess I have this style in two, and then I have been getting shorter ones just because this is a little long for me, but they're so effing cute. They're so cute, okay. So a little bit on the nail, like a little, oh no, I'm sorry, more on my actual nail and a dot on the press on. I was putting a bunch on the press on and what was happening was I was putting, um, I was putting, what am I wanna say? How do I wanna say this? I was getting too much on the press on to where it was coming over where my nail is. So it wasn't like, it was getting glue everywhere, basically. I was putting so much on the press-on that it was over my nail. Does that make sense? I don't know. But that's what was happening, basically. I was putting too much on the press-on and it was coming over my nail. So I do a little bit on the press-on and then a little bit on my nail. And then I don't really have that problem. But I do want to pull out a little bit of acetone just in case I get glue, like right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Right here, I got a little bit of glue out there. Hey, boys! I'm just gonna get a little bit of this out so that I can do some quick swipes while the glue is still chilling. But, woo, two down, they're so cute. Adorable. Another thing I learned the first time, if you watch my other press on nails, you've heard this story, but the first time I put my first pair on, I pushed those bitches into my cuticles so much, or like into my skin, I guess, and they hurt. I had to take them off like less than 12 hours. It was completely my fault. I just didn't know. I was trying to make them look like they weren't press ons and get them really into my like fingers but ooh, they were way too much into my fingers all right next hand because i'm going to skip this thumb and do this thumb last way last my pinkies i always put too much glue just because i think like they're regular <laughs> they're a regular finger size but they're not so i always put too much glue Baby Bean! Get out! Come on! You're done! Get out! Get out! Where are you gonna go? <sighs> I can't. 
So obviously I wanted to wear these because I'll be seeing my sister for Easter, but I'm also going to her cosmetology school. She is doing like a, I don't know what they call it now, like a work study type of thing. I, I don't know what they call it again, but either way, she's in cosmetology school and right now in high school. And so she gets credits for that. And they finally have like open days where people can come and get services done. So getting a little trim tomorrow and I thought it would be cute to wear her present, go get my hair done, and then we are going to spend Easter together. So that is nice. Very excited. I haven't worn press-ons in a really long time. This is craziness. Oh no, I almost just put my entire finger in that glue. Yeah, I haven't worn presents in a long time. I've just been trying to get out, get ahead on my content so much that I haven't really had time. But I'm pretty ahead right now, which is lovely. So I have a little bit of time to have some birthday nails. Okay. Last but not least, thumb. Is where things get real. Just take away your thumbs, dude. I'm not obviously taking them away, but once you put, once you change the dexterity of your thumbs, that's where shit gets real. So obviously, I'm sure you can tell I put right and left on these. I just keep these, and then when I'm done with the press ones, I put them back in the exact same order, and then I know where they belong, and. Hopefully I keep them in some sort of order. The bacon smells so good, dude. I'm so ready to eat. These are my favorite and we don't make them obviously because it's oily, bacony, cheesy sandwiches. So we don't eat them all the time. But every other Friday, I get some fresh Tabata rolls and we have bacon sandwiches and they are effing delicious. And I'm very excited about it. I think that's it, friends. All right, here they are. I think that's it, friends. It's so weird to have like a completely different nail look at the beginning of a video and then at the end of the video, they look like this. But they are beautiful. Again, Allison did such a good job painting these little sunflowers and they all just look so beautiful. This is my favorite flower. Obviously, that's why my sister got little sunflower nails for me. But also, they're just really effing cute. So, yes, I'm going to wear these for a few days. I think that I will have these taken off um, before this video goes up. So, I will try to let you know how, like, this system went with using the peel-off base coat because... I think that would be very helpful to know. So I'll try to do kind of like a little check-in like I do with the wear tests and let you all know how these end up wearing with that peel-off base. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Hello friends, I'm editing. Sorry about this. I don't have time to do a complete voiceover for this little baby clip, but basically these are how the nails looked after I took off the like press-ons. They came off really well just like popped off some of them popped off uh like a few hours later and then a couple of them popped off like the next day so I did end up taking them off like the next night but they stayed on really well and there was not a lot of damage to my nails there's just a little bit of glue kind of like stuck on there and I just did a like a little buff and my nails look really nice they look like nothing even happened so I highly recommend this method for press on nails and using just the peel off base gel.